Hey guys, this is Mike coming at you with the first of what I hope to be many ESET 320 AC circuit videos. Uh, first one is just going to dive right into question from the book. Uh, page 290, question 10-39. It uses a whole bunch of techniques that we learned last semester and throws in a new technique dealing with delta Y transformations. As you can see to the right, we'll use delta Y's, mesh analysis, equivalent resistance, and current divider techniques to solve this problem. So pretty multivariable one. I'm gonna try to keep it nice, short, brief to get under the 10 minute mark. So to jump right in, Bottom left is a diagram of the circuit after adding the 4 volt power supply and 300 ohm load resistor. The question asks, what's the current flowing through the 300 ohm resistor? So to start solving that question of the current through the 300 ohm resistor, we first have to rearrange this circuit a little bit to make it easier to solve. The delta Y transformations turn this type of circuit into this type of circuit. And that's going to be useful to help us simplify this first circuit this way. Redrawing the first circuit like this, and you have the 300 here, power supply here, what we want to do is use the transformation to turn this T right here into a triangle and check it out how that's going to change how this circuit looks. When we complete the transformation, the circuit is going to look like this, the power supply there. And that's an easy transformation after that. It'll just be simplifying two pairs of resistors in parallel, leaving us with a little something like that. Two resistors in series, giving us that. And finally, two resistors in parallel, giving us an equivalent circuit from this first one here using the technique of delta y. So let's do that. So we've isolated which part of the initial circuit that we want to transform using the delta y transformation. It's going to be the 100, 100, and 800 ohm resistors. Throwing those into variables R, A, R, B, and R, C, we then use the delta y equations to get the resistance values of the triangle circuit. So in this case we know RA, RB, and RC. RA is 800 ohms, going back to the initial equation. RB is 100 ohms, and RC is 100 ohms. So from those three numbers, we plug it into the delta Y transformation equation, uh, which as you'll note, Rx equals RARB blah blah over RA, RY over RB. That's the only variable which changes in this equation. Everything above the divider line, like the RARB, etc., that stays the same through all three equations. And what these are, these Rx, RY, and RZ, are going to be the three resistors in our new equivalent circuit after the transformation. So I'll just plug in the numbers now and we can get some real numbers to plug back into the original circuit. Plugging in the numbers to the Rx equation gives you this line right here. You see our first number Ra 800 comes from 800 here which we derive from this first resistor here. This first resistor here is RA, that part of the T. 
and we can plug it straight in. Our B is 100, which we got from this part of the branch right here. And we can just plug in the rest of the variables as we like. Our final answer for Rx is 212.5 ohms. And I didn't show all the work, but using that same formula, the formulas here, we get answers 1.7 kiloohms for our Y and 1.7 kiloohms for our Z. Now that we've solved the Rx, Ry, and Rz equivalent resistors, we can plug them back into the circuit and see how that helped us. So we completed the delta Y transformation. So from the T here to now a triangle with our Rx, Ry, and Rz. Our values that we found were 212.5 for Rx, 1.7K for both our Y and Rz. And plugging, we can plug that triangle into the T as it existed in the circuit. So plugging that back into the circuit, we get this on the right here, where once was a T, now is a triangle. And to simplify even a bit more to make it easier to solve, we can break up these or this single point here into a solid wire, which is a much easier circuit to solve now. Now all we need to do is just do a parallel uh, the parallel resistor shortcut to solve. Uh, the top part here, parallel resistor shortcut to solve the top part here, simplify it all the way down. So now with our new equivalent resistance values plugged back into the original circuit, we can start simplifying the entirety of the circuit down to just one single resistor. Using the parallel shortcut rule on these two pairs of resistors, you get an equivalent resistance of this value and this value. Because they're in series, you can add them together to get this value, and that is now in parallel with this resistor here. You can use a parallel shortcut rule to get one final equivalent resistance value of 319.72 ohms. So to solve the current coming out of the power supply now, you have a voltage value of 4.0 volts the equivalent resistance of the entire circuit after doing the delta Y transformation and s doing equivalent resistances by the parallel shortcut rule of all the resistors in the circuit, you now get a current flowing out of the power supply of 12.51 milliamps. The question isn't entirely over the yet because it's asking for the current through the 300 ohm resistor which as you might remember is the load resistor. So we now have to use the current divider rule because like what we found here uh, so far is the current flowing into and through the power supply at 12.51 milliamps. That's the current I flowing through there. But it still has to go through this entire spaghetti mess of resistors to finally get through this branch here. That's what the question is asking. What's the current through this branch here? So the next part I'll be going through current divider rule to isolate that portion of current.